Alright, so back with a newly updated Borderlands trainer. It's much better. So I'll just get into it. So character, we have the cash, the XP, the backpack size, FOV, player level, and your skill points. So cash, we can just change it to like 900, 99, whatever. See that change. XP, we can make that like million or whatever I just did 10 million get level 69 instantly backpack size see mine is 12 I changed this to like 100 there you go FOV change this to like 110 and sprint boom 110 FOV player level change this to whatever you want we can change it to 1 oh the XP is screwing it up let me change the XP to 1 change my level to 1 See, back to level 1, I can change this to um, like 10,000, you can see, I'm level 10,000. Melee damage scales with levels in this game, so I can melee and I can hit damage cap, or visual damage cap, instantly. And if I make my level like a million, I can pretty much one hit melee anything in the game. Alright, so now skill points, we can change these to whatever I want, like a thousand, I can go... And here I can use them you know so next we have hit points like health max health and shield you can't change your max shield it doesn't work I tried so you can change max health to like a hundred thousand make and then change my normal health to a hundred thousand you see that it is actually at a hundred thousand so that's pretty cool all right so yeah we can change our shield to like something but it doesn't really work you see it just gets depleted unless I have a shield on then I can change it to back to full or I can change it to lower like one and it will have to recharge so you can change their shield capacity but you can't change the max all right so next is unlimited stuff so we have unlimited ammo I'll show first see I just don't run out pretty much and then we have unlimited money we press that See, my money went up to max, and it pretty much stays there. If, even if I buy something, it will stay at the current money it's at. Unlimited health pretty much just makes you invincible. See, if I go over here and get shot at, um, my health stays the same. I don't die. Pretty much impossible. So, next is something fun to mess around with. We have the proficiency levels, the gun proficiency levels, which I took a lot of time to make because I had to do them all one by one. But I can change any one of these. Shotgun's the most fun because it changes the fire rate as it levels up, so I can change this to like 5,000. Now it doesn't update visually instantly. See, it hasn't updated, but yeah, that's how that works since it increases the fire rate. So if I go unlimited, turn on unlimited ammo, this is really fun to do. And then, yeah, I can pretty much just do this. It's pretty loud if you don't turn down your volume. Yeah, you can see it updated. This is how much it's going up, 10,000% fire rate. And it also increases the damage and load speed. So, yeah, it's like a machine gun. So there's a couple more of these we can do, there's like, we can do like pistol, just turn that up to 100,000, I guess. I can even sum a level to 1, so you know that, like, it's not just because I'm a high level, see. So yeah, you can pretty much just do this and even go into DLCs at low levels. Pretty much just kill anything, easily. It's fun though, the shotgun's the best. I'm not going to show all of these uh, proficiency levels because they're pretty much all the same. The shotgun's the best one because it's the only one that increases the fire rate, I think. Snipers increase the fire rate too, but most of the snipers in this game are semi-automatic. I don't think there's any automatic snipers. One more thing I'm going to show is that you can change your level to use over-leveled weapons. So like right here, I have this modded weapon and I can't use it obviously, it's a really high level, but if I go ahead and change my level to whatever level I need to use, I can equip it, and I can use the modded weapon. 
I can even change my level back to 69 and still be able to use the weapon. And I think that's about it, really, for this. I'm gonna put the download in the description for this one because it's the finished one. I'm pretty sure it's finished. I can't really think of anything else that I could change. I've tried doing speed hacks, I've tried doing other stuff like that. This game is not very optimizable like Borderlands 2 is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the description for download. And thanks for watching.